Hi! It's Sunny again. Um, don't mind me as I move and slice around with my computer, with my tab. Now, I can really talk. It's just a, been a very long day. Don't mind me while I move around the camera. It's kind of sitting up on a contraption. You're going to see that in a minute. Because I don't have a tripod for it right now. My jaw is also kind of swollen, so I'm talking and slurring a little bit, and I really am quite sorry about that. I'm trying not to. It's kind of hard, though, because I, when I get cold, I grind my teeth so I don't chatter. And I must have chewed on my inner cheek uh, a few days ago, and between that and my teeth complaining, it's just been a hell of a time. So, what I want to do today... I've got a get to know me thing. I've got questions. And I'll, first I want to do a uh, pretty much a glance around my unfortunately very messy room. Uh, I Hopefully you won't blame me because it's, you know, still, it's the end of first week of uh, National Novel Writing Month, which is where you take a bunch of writers, throw them together, and tell them to write 50,000 words in one month. And I, I do this every year. I've been doing it since like 2009. And I won every year. It's just, I tend not to clean up. Oopsies. Okay, so first let's do the quick tour. Okay. So first we've got my shelf. Got my ducky. I'm gonna kind of zoom in on here. Got my ducky. Bunny rabbit. Picture my grandpa. Earrings, yes, those are earrings. Those was green and red things. Those are earrings. That, that's not, that's not ornaments. I promise you. My dragon. Okay, you want? I bet you most of you would like a up close of my dragon here. It's not. It's a pretty baby. My very old thing. Picture of mommy. My stuffed collection. This is my bed. I'm gonna kind of walk backwards here so I can get a better picture my bed. Yes, I've got giant quilts on my bed right now. A sheet that barely fits. Uh, that's a really thing that you see up there. I wore that to my senior prom. And right there, that's the uh, headdress I wore at my friend's wedding a few years ago. I currently don't have a television. My mother currently kind of has that. So, we're just going to move along and see and zoom in. Got a bunch of videos, uh, DVDs over there. And then my closet with my defunct Dell printer. My Snuggie. My box of my box of nibbles. Is under my Snuggie, there's my bed. Uh, there's my chair that doesn't like to kick up. My computer, as you can hear, it's playing something or another. My side table over here. Excuse me. Black tank top. Just kind of very short black tank top. Bag of junk. Maybe if I can zoom in, you can see my other keyboard. Let's see here. Kind of see my foot. Yeah, that's my other keyboard. My little bastard, quite literally. That's my background. Pretty in it. And of course that's the setup that I've got going for where I record things. It's kind of sitting on my um, wax tart burner. If you don't know what a wax tart is, it's these little things. As you can see. This one is a two packer, which is Orange bourbon cupcakes with honey fro bourbon frosting, which is on this side. It's on this side here. And then this side is molten orange. It actually smells really good. And you put them in a little thing like this. Can't really see it because it's kind of dark. But that's where you put them in. <coughs> oh, yes. Uh, excuse the sounds I make. I want to introduce my thumper. Oh god, my nose. 
my plot bunny. He's my main plot bunny. My friend Tiger named him Thumper, therefore he's not now named as Thumper. Oh, good Lord in heaven. I've got another plot bunny too. They both come from my friend Kev, who I love to pieces. This is Bluebell. Excuse the odd camera angle, but this is Bluebell. She's kind of squished currently because I keep sleeping on her. Oopsies. Really shouldn't. Okay, so I suppose I should get around to actually answering your questions. As long as I can stay within line of sight here. I'm hoping I got me in line of sight. Okay. Now, the questions are pretty much from various people. The first is from Affy, and she goes, Cats or dogs? And she's a close friend of mine. Uh, as I told her before, I prefer cats to dogs. If I have to have dogs, they're either going to be really huge to help me walk and stand, um, or they're going to be really, really tiny black dogs that don't annoy the hell out of me. Usually, probably, um, uh, uh, calmer lap dogs, if there is such a thing. Um, maybe a mutt. I like mutts. Okay, now, from the National Novel Writing Site, one of my buddies, Evie123ZY. She first asked, Are you a panther or a plotter and why? <clears throat> um, I used to be a panther. I don't pants no more for really good reasons. Uh, mostly because I tended not to get my stuff finished within a normal amount of time. Sorry about moving the camera, but I kind of, you know, needed to due to the uh, way it was sitting. It was annoying the hell out of me. Call it oh, uh, but also, uh, the same reason why I moved the camera is the same reason why I plot nowadays. Uh, I've got a obsessive compulsive disorder OCD pretty much uh, I'll couple that with hypergraphia and uh, ADD and you get a very odd mix of where I've got to control certain things and that's why I write so much um, next she asks what does your editing processing process look like a lot of cussing a lot of going, the hell did I just write? And a lot of rewriting. A lot of actual editing and a lot of rewriting it again. And then actually sending it off to the beta if I have one. And going, can you make sure I didn't fuck up too bad? Excuse my language, you guys, but seriously. This is me on, you know, very few hours of sleep and very stressed out. <laughs> um, let's hear, uh, but. Yeah, it, it includes a lot of sitting there and going, the hell did I just write? And rewriting and fixing little things and cutting up sentences so they make more sense and I can fit in details without having this, you know, three-line sentence running around. You know, um, so that's how my editing process looks like. What about yours? She then asks, who is your favorite character you ever created and why? Um, my favorite character would have to be Rai. I actually got a picture of him up on my wall and it was done by a good friend. And I'll show you the picture in a few minutes. Uh, she, he was, he is my immortal, uh, gypsy boy. From a side earth, I guess you can say. He's from my, uh, a butterfly's life series. His story is a butterfly's dance and I'm still writing it. I'm rewriting a butterfly's dream which is the second book and I've been plotting out a butterfly's flight which is the third and final book. It's also connected to a si uh, set of stories called a demon's toy. So the butterfly series is probably going to stay a web only uh, story series more than likely but first I want to actually rewrite and write the stories and get them out and hopefully get them set up with my friend because she's all she's 
because some of the characters that I'm using are a part of her characters. Uh, but he's my favorite boy. He's he's a lot like me. He's sassy and snarky. He's not all that right in his mind. Um, yeah, so that's why he's my favorite boy. Now, Connie, I can't say your last name, honey, but you know who you are. Connie, uh, she's from Forward Motion Writers. She's a good friend. I saw her uh, a while ago when I went to the Basin Book Fair. Author Fair, excuse me. And she asked, what genre do you write and how did you come to write that? My main genre is horror. I write supernatural horror, actually. Ghosts, vampires, whatever, you know. Supernatural, paranormal, I like it. And if someone dies in it, well, that's even better for me. Uh, I grew up on the original Japanese, that's Japanese anime. Not this anime crap that you see nowadays, not, you know, the sports animes, and I'm talking shit like, uh, Galaxy 999, and Parasite Dolls, I'm talking the old hardcore, you won't see it on American television without being so edited, it changes the entire thing, unless it's at 4 o'clock in the morning and you're an adult. Okay, I grew up on that. I also grew up on Stephen King, Dean Koontz. My first real horror book was Cujo. I was eight. Okay, I've had books since before I was born. And my fa all time favorite horror movie is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I can watch it and laugh. I'm not insane, I promise you, it's just horror does not scare me, not anymore. Uh, it can make me jump, yeah, uh, trust me, it can make me jump. Uh, paranormal, activity has sh paranormal activity has shown me that yes, I can still jump, but it doesn't scare me per se, you know. Real life scares me, that, that horrifies me. Um, but I also write some romance. I'm dipping my toes into country gay romance. Uh, that's something that I've always read. Trashy gay, trashy Harlequin romances before, you know, they got all high and mighty up on there. And they actually had sex in their books. You know. Uh, now, Trigger Happy B from Tumblr asks, what made you start writing? It was actually my friend Sabrina who first got me into writing. Uh, first it was just poems and little shit like that. And then as I grew up and life became a lot more complicated and shit happened, writing became a way to escape. My mom got really sick in 2003. She was diagnosed with CRA malformation in 2004. And CR malformation is pretty much where the spinal cord drops sp down the spinal column and takes the brain with it and upsets the natural levels of oxygen and fluids in the brain. Um, it's a very slow process. And uh, I couldn't really do anything. So I turned to writing and I was able to control the characters. I was able to control where the characters were going to do next. That's how I started writing, and then I discovered I was really good at it. All my reading and all my playing around with poems and stuff, I was really good at writing. So, that's why I started writing. She asked next, what are your top three places in the world you want to visit? Let's see here. Ireland. I've got uh, uh, ancestors from there as most Americans probably do along with, you know, Scotland and England and a few other places. Um, that is white Americans, mostly. Um, Italy and I really, really would love to, uh, actually, I just want to really explore the U.S. one day. I just want to pack up a camper, uh, 
Damn it. Um, not a camper. What the hell? Uh, those tanks. Uh, those tank homes. Okay. <laughs> an RV. I want to pack up an RV and just explore. Unfortunately, it's probably never going to happen in my lifetime. Not unless I get really lucky and somehow make a good chunk of money from my books. Which I'm working on getting out. Don't worry. Um, and three. This is kind of funny. If I stole your left shoe, what would you do? I would have to pounce you, cuddle you, and tickle you until you gave me my shoe back. My shoe. I only have three pairs of shoes. I need all the shoes I can get. Be my shoes, be. Alright, now that I've answered the questions, and yeah, I know, I sound horrible right now. The temperature has turned into the cold, and that's why very big, very thick, very warm, comfortable blankets are on my bed. And why currently my feet are buried in a fluffy tie dye thing. Let me get that. I'll show it to you. Fluffy tie dye thing. It's warm. Okay. Now I promised you guys I would show you rice, so I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna turn you off and let me see. I'm gonna grab a come here, right? My mouse. I dropped my mouse. See, that's right. Well drawn picture. See a dragon and a bird up in there. That's um Nicodemus and Son Eren's form. But that's my immortal gypsy boy. He's kicking it. I'm thinking Bali. So for now you guys, I hope you enjoy and please feel free to ask more questions when and if you ever guys if you ever want to. I will probably try and do more of these get to know me videos. Excuse me while I save my plaster mouse. Son of a bitch, my baby. Come here. My baby. Oh.